Hi, I'm Chelsea Mitko, kindergarten teacher and mom to Jane and Finley. This video is going to be all about reading in the womb. Growing a child inside you has to be one of the most miraculous things on this planet. It's incredible how we can connect to this child before they're even born, through touch, through voice, and even have an emotional connection to them. What's really amazing is that we know that we can impact your child's reading success while they're in the womb. I'm going to tell you a little bit about how I connected with my two babies during my pregnancies. During my first pregnancy, I read to my belly all the time. I'd read throughout the day, but I also created a bedtime routine where I'd be reading my bedtime stories in the evenings. This is a schedule we still keep today. I would also massage my belly while reading and even pat it while we did rhyming. Sometimes just walking down the street, I'd be massaging my belly. I would also talk to my belly while I was cooking dinner. And I really encouraged my husband to be part of this as well. I encouraged him to introduce himself and read to the belly and say, I'm your daddy and I'm gonna read you a bedtime story tonight. And this was a beautiful way for him to connect to our baby as well. Reading is such a calming experience. It can be calming for baby as it's stressful in the womb. It can also be calming for the parents and caregivers because we all know it is stressful outside of the womb as well. During my second pregnancy, it was fairly similar, except on hyperdrive because with a toddler, I was reading hundreds of books a day. It was also interesting because Jane was part of this reading. So when Finley was born in early August, he already recognized her voice and he already looks up at her because she would be reading and singing songs to the belly all the time. Jane is part of Finley's literacy journey as well because she has helped promote his brain activity, which leads to language development and vocabulary skills. Here is Dr. Janet Mort, soul of Born to Read, author, scientist, friend, and to us, Gigi. She's gonna be sharing a story about reading in the womb. Hello, I'm Dr. Janet Mort, author of Born to Read. I'm better known to my great-grandchildren as Gigi. I have four wonderful great-grandchildren. When I heard about this research that Chelsea referred to, I was a little bit skeptical, and as a researcher, we're trained to be so, and I thought I would try my own experiment to see if this was really true. Could babies really learn to communicate in the womb? So I called my granddaughter, Natasha, over for a visit, and I told her about the research, and I gave her Dr. Seuss's book, Oh Baby, The Places We'll Go, actually written by Dr. Seuss's wife after he'd passed, because she too, and he was intrigued with the research they'd heard about. I assigned Natasha the task of reading Oh Baby, The Places You'll Go, to, which is a fun book, uh, to read in the womb at least once a day, she guaranteed me, and if she had time, twice a day, so that we could see if the repetitive nature of this reading made any significant difference to read. About three months later, she was close to giving birth. She called and said, could she drop by? And I knew she had a plan as soon as she came into the room because she positioned the chair, she unfolded her diaper bag, got everything out, um, pulled aside her big button top and said, watch my belly, Grandma. And at that point, her belly was doing nothing. Uh, so I sat intrigued with what was going to happen. And she pulled out of the diaper bag the book, Oh Baby, The Places You'll Go. And she said, look at my stomach and tell me what you see. And I said, virtually nothing, it's pretty big. And she said, watch this. And she opened the book and she held it above her tummy so I could watch her tummy and she started to read oh baby the places you'll go she was not on page three when her tummy started to undulate one side to another then as she went further you could see pokes coming up which were probably a knee or an or an elbow or an arm and by the time she finished the book her stomach was rocking and rolling that baby was in there having a blast. So we had quite a giggle about it. I was absolutely astounded. There was no question that that book had inspired the baby uh, to start to be excited, to start to move, to start to pay attention. 
And what the researchers are telling us is that if you put your hand over your mouth, that's what babies hear in the womb. So if I were to talk like this, that's what babies are actually hearing. And the further research that's developed since is that babies learn to recognize the voices of those closest around them. So certainly mom and dad and caregivers and maybe grandma and grandpa if they can visit enough. So babies are building relationships while they're in the womb with the people who are closest to them. Um, they've also discovered that babies learn the rhythm of the language. Babies are pre-learning the pacing, the intonation. Babies are learning a lot about our language, about us as people. They start to do this learning around the five month period. So we hit it just about bang on when we started with Reed at five months. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you talk someone you know who's pregnant into getting, oh baby, the, the places you'll go. But it really could be any fun, relaxing book. Thank you for joining us at Born to Read. I'm Dr. Janet Moore. Thank you, Janet, for sharing that story. It's absolutely amazing how much impact we can have for reading success with babies who are not even born yet. For a link to Oh Baby, The Places You'll Go and Janet's book, please see the description below. I'm Chelsea Micro, and thanks for visiting Born to Read.